Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here. The second half of the case, 2016-17 Panini Select Basketball. It's a six-box random division break number two. Big thanks to Vasilis, Michael G., Steve K., and Dano for getting into this break. And there are the divisions right there. Let's roll the dice for each list. Uh, five and a six, 11 times. Just ram.org. Give me high numbers late at night. One, two, three, four, five. Why couldn't it be snake eyes? Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right, Vazilis with the top two spots, then Dano with the next two, and then Steve and Mike. All right, there you go. And then another eleven times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Every second counts. Atlantic down to the central. All right, there you go. Vasilis with the Atlantic. I heard there's some guy named Ben Simmons in the Atlantic division. I don't know who he is. He hasn't played. Uh, Southwest as well. Dano, you got the Pacific and the Southeast with your last spot mojo. Steve K with the Northwest and Michael G with the Central. I mean, you can make a case for every division being really great, especially with all the vets and stuff in here. All right, so trades are allowed. I'm going to pause the video, and we're going to see if there's any trades um, when we come back. So stick around. Boop. All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, there were no trades, so the list you saw on the previous screen uh, remains the same. I alphabetized the list by division right there. So this is half case division number two. I believe Nick said that he'll try and post uh, some pick your teams tomorrow. So it seemed like the pick your teams were a little more po uh, got a little more positive response. I mean, we filled these without a problem, but still, I think people may prefer pick your teams more than random divisions. So. Keep an eye out for that. All right. We didn't get a boatload of cases of these, but we we got a we got a handful, so we should be able to run run these breaks back a number of times. Um, so, I mean, obviously, our 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 basketball audience is not as huge as our football audience, so we didn't get as many as we did with football. Arthur says, what, tomorrow you can't join breaks. Tomorrow you get a baby shower. Oh, baby shower tomorrow. I see. Well, congrats, Arthur, again. Uh, baby shower, are you, are you doing the, what kind of baby shower are you having? I did a, they do a, uh, my, my, my friend who had, a, who had a kid a year or so ago, um, did a baby shower, but it was like a big, like co-ed, like catered lunch kind of like bring bring your own booze kind of baby shower. It was one of those. I don't, I don't I don't know if you guys have been to a co-ed baby shower. It was fun, I guess. I had a good time. All right, Robert Covington. Actually, let me lower this just a little bit. Robert Covington leads us off. Uh, be sure to yell at me if I blow by any uh, Ben Simmons cards. I almost blew by like a $70 Ben Simmons card. Uh, Jermichael Green, Grizz, 62 out of 299. Using my cheat sheet. I am not very good at these divisions. Uh, Grizz goes to the Southwest. So that will be Vasilis. And Kevin Durant, who just still looks weird in that Golden State uniform. Oh, it's just going to be family, boys and girls. Okay, gotcha. There's Karis LeVert, 7 out of 99, die cut for the Brooklyn Nets. That's the That's got to be Atlantic, right? Yeah, Atlantic for Vasilis. And we got more for Vasilis. Uh, Jose Calderon, 70 out of 199. Set that right there. And there you go. Wade Baldwin the fourth, die cut autograph for Vasilis, 160 out of 199. He has the Southwest. There you go. I love those die cut autographs. Nikola Jokic has been balling out. Got Denzel Valentine, 37 out of 49. Copper parallel for the Bulls and the Central. That's Michael G has the Central. 
And then we've got Damian Lillard. Nice. Not numbered, but a nice relic for the Pacific. No, Northwest, I think. Yeah, Northwest. Uh, that'll be Steve K. Steve K, if you're a hip-hop guy, Damian Lillard's uh, record, it's not too shabby for a pro basketball player. All right, Arthur says, oh, about 75 people total on the baby shot. That's not bad. It's pretty nice. Should be a fun time. JCrazy101US US in the breakers.tv stream says, how does this work? It's your first time breaking. Oh man, well, I think first of all, first of all, you should go to our YouTube channel. Cause that's where that's where most of our audience is. If you go to our YouTube page, there'll be a video on our homepage that says, what's a group break? Um, and if you watch that video, that should give you an idea of what a group break is. Unfortunately, I have to keep going on this, so I apologize for not linking you directly. But if you go to our stream there and then subscribe to us and go, go to our homepage, you should be able to see that video. Steve K says, is, it, is Damian Lillard's record as good as Shaq's? Uh, it's better than Shaq's. No, no record could be as could be as good as Shaq's record. No, Damian Lillard actually tries to be serious. I think, like a serious hip hop artist, you know. So it's not like a tongue in cheek one. Um, Shaq always, I always felt like Shaquille O'Neal had a sort of tongue in cheek kind of vibe to to all of his all of his projects. You know what I mean? He was like, I know I'm being goofy. I know this is not good. You know. Um, Kobe's hip hop record, apparently. It's not very good. <laughs> it's not very good. His like attempt at, at, at doing some hip hop when he was really young. Um, I don't know. Like you can kind of see maybe some possible potential there, but I don't know if it quite worked. And Kobe being Kobe being Kobe might have taken it a little too seriously. But I think Damian Lillard actually released a pretty. I think a lot of curse words. So if that bothers you, you know that. I'll be that, but it's not 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 too bad. It's Damari Carroll. No, DeAndre Bembry, completely different guy. I I thought I, the card was backwards. What do you want from me? And it's late for the Hawks. Two seventy three out of two ninety nine. Southeast with that one, and that'll be Dano with the last spot mojo. Damari Carroll, come on, Joe. And who else do we have? We got Willie Colley Stein for the Pacific and the Kings. 40 out of 175. Darren Collison. Uh, no, I don't know if Master P played in the NBA. There's a Demontis Sabonis for the Northwest. 48 out of 49. That goes to Steve K. Uh, and for the Pacific, or for the Atlantic, throwback, Deron Williams relic. But I, 33 and 99, but people say that, that Master P was definitely good. Like he could have played in the NBA if like, if he didn't pursue music instead. People said that he could have been that good. Nice Kobe Bryant for the Pacific, Dano, 16 out of 25. These tie dye refractors always do pretty well. Always do well. Sad Laker fans buying up all that stuff. Trying to remember the good old days. Bogdanovich actually has been playing pretty well too these days. Marcus Aldridge. And we got Miles Turner. Pacers relic for the Central. Michael G. There we go. Oh, yeah, did we miss a Dan Schroeder card, Jenny? All right, so nice Kobe. Nice die cut. Um, Dano makes me think of an interesting conversation topic that you guys can help me on. Um, this is kind of a longer break. We can kind of ramble a little bit. Uh, athletes that could have been good at another sport. You know what I mean? Like, 
for example, uh, like Allen Iverson played high school football. And apparently, you know, Allen Iverson could have been a pretty good football player. Uh, Chad Ochocinco, Chad Johnson, apparently played a lot of high school soccer. And, like, he could have been a good soccer player. You know what I mean? Like, what? Who are some? Who are some other guys that made it at one sport but could have played like another sport? You know. Did LeBron play football? I had no idea. If he did, I had no idea. Maybe he did. I don't know. Or do you just like the idea of LeBron playing football? He'd be a big dude on the football field. I think there's got to be some there's got to be some other guys. There's got to be a lot of baseball football crossover too, just because of the seasons. Um, Greg and Russell Wilson. What was the other sport? Wow, LeBron did play football. Oh right, Russell Wilson in baseball. I think he's actually drafted by the Rangers. I think the Rangers have the rights. Yeah, Steve K, he did get drafted. I think the Rangers have the right to Russell Wilson. And in fact, Russell Wilson actually goes, um, actually sometimes goes to the spring camp just to hang out with, hang out with them, you know, kind of say, oh, there's Dennis Schroeder right there. Luis Scola, 139 out of 175 for the Atlantic and the Nets. And we got Malcolm Brogdon's been doing pretty well too. Bucks have a couple good rookies that are pretty solid. The printing a little off right there. One thirty one out of one ninety nine. The serial number printer was drunk that night. Going out to the Bucks, who would be in the Northwest, I believe, right? No, they're in the Central. They're in the Central. That goes to Michael G. Nice die cut auto, Michael G. Malik Beasley for the Nuggets, 120 out of 299 Northwest. Well, Bo, Bo Jackson actually did play two sports. I, I don't think we're going to see too many two sport guys anymore. John Henson for the Bucks in the Central. We got Bismack Biombo. Nice. 168 out of 199 die cut for Orlando. That's the southeast. Southeast going to Dano. And Derrick Rose in the Atlantic now with the New York Knicks. That goes to Vasilis. Ilasova and Eric Bledsoe. <laughs> Michael Jordan Wright. Michael Jordan Baseball. That 30 for 30 or whatever documentary that was, Jordan Rides the Bus, I think. Is that a 30 for 30? It's pretty good if you guys haven't seen it already. Although I guess Bo Jackson could have played anything, right? That's what Nike would lead me to believe. All right, three boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. So LeBron James, all-state wide receiver, huh? That's what Alex Hewitt is saying. Can you imagine? LeBron James as a wide receiver. Man. That would that would that would be that would be pretty crazy. And you know, obviously we we've seen like a lot of like a lot of basketball skills translate to football. You've seen a lot of 
former college basketball guys. I, the, the main example, Antonio Gates. You know, people mention that all the time about him, you know. So, could be interesting. I'd like to see that. Keith Chris, Josh Richardson, they lead us off. Dirk hit 30,000 points recently. There's Christoph Porzingis. Nice relic. And we've got a gold Trevor Ariza. Nice. 52 out of 75. Gold die cut Trevor Ariza for the uh, Southwest. Houston Rockets playing some good basketball. Uh, Southwest, that would be Vasilis. Then we got throwback relic Jameer Nelson for the Southwest. 76 out of 199. Throwback relic for Vasilis and the Dallas Mavs. Kyrie for the Central. 141 out of 299. Michael G. With the Kyrie. Then we have... Nice Ben Simmons. Look at that. Right there. Vasilis. It's like, I don't know, probably 20 bucks, right? And the autograph. We got Marshall Plumley die cut auto for the Knicks, sixty eight out of one ninety nine, all going to the Atlantic. There you go. I mean, Ten bucks maybe I don't know, but. <laughs> A lot more than any other rookie base card, that's for sure. There you go. All right. Right. Oh, right. I forgot about Jameis Winston. Right. Greg N. St. Jameis Winston pits at Florida State. Oh, the Rangers also picked a player that would inevitably go play football. Um, Jameis Winston uh, actually was. A very good closer, from what I understand, from what I remember, right? I don't think he actually started, but they had him. They had him as a closer, which actually make makes kind of makes sense. It's like if you still want to play baseball. Oh, was there another Simmons earlier? Oh, okay, I'll go. I'll go through it. I'll go through that again and look and and pull that out. It's worth it. But yeah, I think I think Jameis Winston was a closer. There's actually one right there. There is a, I remember a funny video uh, that, that they did like at baseball practice for Florida State where like a, along the foul area, there was like a video of Jameis Winston uh, taking a snap from his fellow baseball teammates. I thought that was pretty funny. All right. Second to last box. We're almost there, folks. Now yeah, one more box and then that is it for me. I'm getting very near the end. There's LeBron. There's Clint Capella. Nice on-card autograph. 142 out of 149 for the Rockets. Going to the Southwest. That'll be for Vasilis. And we got Denzel Valentine. Another autograph. Right there for the Bulls and the Central. That'll go to Michael G. 255 out of 299. And tie-dye, Josh Richardson for Miami in the Southeast. 14 out of 25. 
Nice one for Dano. A couple tie dyes there. And then we've got another tie dye for the Atlantic. Tyler Zeller tie dye. 19 out of 25 for Vasilis. Reggie Jackson. Jimmy Butler. 36 out of 49. Copper for the Central. Trevor Booker, Damian Lillard. All right, almost there, folks. One more box. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Aaron says on the back of Phil Jackson's tops, we're going to try to pitch for a semi-pro team in South Dakota. Nice. All right. Last box, division number two. Good luck, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow. Oh, there's one more break. There's National Treasures Collegiate number 30. One more break, and then we'll... Uh, and we'll call it a night, and then we'll be back with you tomorrow at 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern for night six. Oh, it's all right, Aaron. It's good to chip in on that, though, on that convo. Uh, I'm a big soccer fan. Guys, and um, as, as some of you may know, I support Liverpool and Galaxy and whatnot. There's always fun conversations that soccer fans have about, oh, about which which pro athlete or like it, it, like when this happens in the World Cup. If like uh, like imagine if the best American athletes were on Team USA, we'd win the World Cup. Like if, if LeBron James was like a, like a center forward, like a midfielder or something like that. If you know, if Allen Iverson was a striker, you know, like. All right. Contavious Caldwell Pope for the Pistons in the Central. Corey Brewer. Gallinari. Capella. Nice Thon Maker right here. I think that's some sort of variation. Buddy Heald autograph? Nice. Still Pelicans edition on that Buddy Heald. Southwest with that one. 293 out of 299. Goes to Vasilis. Nice on-card auto there, Vasilis. Wayne Ellington die cut. 93 out of 99. Die cut. Well, Wayne Ellington, southeast on that heat. And Jamal Crawford relic. You think, Span you think La Liga is better, Chris? I don't know. After Real Madrid, Atletico, and Barcelona, that's pretty much it, right? I think I think EPL has a little more a uh, little more parity from top to bottom. Tristan Thompson tie dye four out of twenty five for the Cavs. That goes to the Central. Michael G. Derek Rose for the Atlantic two thirty four out of two ninety nine. Brandon Ingram Refractor, and there's Paul George, future Laker. We'll see. All right. That's it, folks. That's Random Division Break number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to everybody who got in. No randomizers, nothing goofy like that. Nice, clean break. Let me sleeve all these up. We'll have more tomorrow, more brand new select basketball tomorrow on Saturday. So keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.